<clears throat> what are you eating, dude? Who? Let's just treat. Oh, just a regular one? Is it homemade or is it like the rainbow it? one? Oh, tis the season. Oh, okay, nice. Tis I'm the trying season. to keep it yeah. in the same flavor. <clears throat> the same flavor as Bud Light. <laughs> so my throat's sore. <laughs> yes. Too many, too, too, many, too many bed lights last night, guys. Too many hey, salty man. sex. <laughs> yeah. At least you're supporting your community. That's all that matters, man. That's all I'm that matters. Cal- I'm California, you got to, you know. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fat dude. Fab looks like he's uh he's on we're trying to protect his identity. Maybe it's not Fab. Who is uh, it? I can't yeah. tell. Nobody are we do- knows. Are we Nobody doing knows. our are we doing our ADLS fucking security training right now is this is this a threat insider is this jeff is this jeff trying to shoot me his new mixtape my name Jeff. You will never know <laughs> my name Jeff. oh to, oh come on rookie who did it who is that who do you think the guy's who's, never here who's the rookie that fucking did that all right i got my phone my work phone two of my kids phones i like a fucking Favorite IT desk. Look like a fucking drug dealer right there, huh? That's why I gotta have a face covering. Yeah, where's where's your <laughs> pager? Yeah, right. <laughs> I got that on silent already. That would be cool <laughs> if you had a pager, though. That would be kind of cool. Yo, hit me up. Hit me up on the pager. Hell yeah! Hey everybody, welcome to Keys to the Jet. I'm Red. I'm Rhino. Fab in the darkness. Oh Back my gosh. Again. More energy, guys. You guys are fucking. What is happening? Did everybody just wake up? I just woke up. What's going on? I'm all hopped up on tramadol, so it's a good shit. Mm. Having fun. Yeah. And I'm Blackbeard, of course. Yeah, I'm on Blackbeard. Yeah, yeah. I got him back. <laughs> got them all back. It's still here. You know, when you did, when you did that, it sounded like the steel drum. Oh, it did sound like the steel <laughs> drum. You're still, you're still feeling I'm, hot, I'm, hot, hot. You need hot, hot, hot. That's that was fucking gold. Hot, last, hot, gold. Last season, season, <laughs> season. We have more multiple last season. Now? Oh shit! Ah, uh, we could start the second season right now. This could be the second season. Time flies. <laughs> time flies. <laughs> you know, yeah. Time definitely flies when Fab's not here. See, the thing is, yeah, though, is. Works. I think people are going to be <laughs> angry with us because we said we were going to live stream episode ten, and this is episode ten. So we just got to be like, listen, well, people need I apologize to... because our schedules can match up, especially with, uh, uh-huh. you know what I mean? I mean, uh-huh. oh, he's over on this side. I'm over here. He's, he's over there. Somewhere. Let's see it. Let's see it. Can you fucking show? Here. Can you show us the. Uh, the elephant titus oh. arm. Oh. No, show us the uh, where they fucking went in there. I can't bend it that way. It goes to stitches and shit. Although it is perfectly bent, so it's yeah, oh it's yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's easy. It's a straight, a straight ninety. So you Dude, see that on that? That's like oh Ooh. okay. Whoa, yes, that's what I'm talking about. I like I like to see that. That's good. Sure. Sure Straight up your arm. Here, yeah, let me go. Like a butt crack. Here, let me let me go puke over here real quick. Let me go puke. <laughs> I'm gonna go fucking pass don't out. Don't tell any secrets, Black. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pass out real quick. <laughs> Can you, can you not, can you no not hear him like breathing heavy, like like he's at a hometown buffet, and you're asking him how how's he doing? <laughs> yeah, just up like, the, just up the Golden Corral, dude. Yeah, yeah. how'd it go? <sighs> it's fine. Oh, well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just taking a break. Oh, because we look like thirty six. Did you say Ross Krispie <laughs> treats? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Man, hell yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's but pretty. No, what awesome, I was dude. trying to say is, people need to understand this is not our main job. Like, you get people like, oh, episode ten, we're gonna live stream in the back of Jimmy's car or whatever it is. But that's all they do. Like, that's all they have in life is to do a podcast yeah. or a live stream. They don't have to do anything else. They're doing it just for views. Yeah, we have, we, we have to mop. <laughs> we have to mop places and clean things. Forced to clean and shit. There's been quite a quite a lot that i've had to clean up this week you know what i'm saying like a fuck ton this week and last week that i've had to clean up 
I mean, I mean, the way Fab's uh, picture is, he's got to clean his engines, you know, his propellers on the other side there. <laughs> it looks like he's part of the plane. <laughs> gotta get, gotta rotate him with I the oil to plane. move through it. You know. <laughs> I am the plane now. I are, I are plane. Oh. <laughs> I think you just lost your train of thought in the middle of your sentence there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, yeah, the, it would be it would be nice to do that kind of thing, but maybe we could do it again at some point. Maybe when we get to a thousand subscribers, when we all get oh oh yes, that's the one. Okay, that's thousand cool. one thousand followers mm-hmm. on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, YouTube. I, I don't know. I have to say it in coffee. You know, well, we have to have Blackbeard say in coffee hour because he's the he's the uh so, social social so media the, guru. The reason the why he said what was he was playing Modern Warfare 2 last night, because last night I was playing on a match and there was a guy that sounded just like Blackbeard's like coffee house hour, just across the mic, just like oh, oh I knocked him down. <laughs> like <laughs> tango down. Yeah. Tango like he was down. talking just like that the whole time. And I was like, There's an AC one thirty in our area. It's like Blackbeard. As I texted him right away, I was like, Is that you? Dude. If it is, tell me. So I'm gonna add you as a friend right now. Bro, hit me Turn up. Dude. Hit me up. We'll fucking play. I'll play. When I got time, I'll play. Do you have the uh, new modern warfare or are you playing the uh, other what's the other one? What's the other one? The fucking bah, 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 the World War Two one. No, the new one that just came out. Okay. Yeah. World War II was Vanguard. the last one I played. Vanguard is the... I think the yeah. last one I played mm. is Vanguard. No, I have the new one. Modern Warfare 2. Nice. Nice. Two again. It's, it's actually pretty good. Yo, remember when the original Modern Warfare 2 came out? Remember that shit? That shit was so much fun. I spent hours upon hours upon hours upon hours Dude, upon man. hours fucking man. playing that shit. Black Ops, same thing. Dude. I don't know when what they, it was, but I love Black Ops. I played hours of that thing. Black Ops, Black Ops wasn't that fun. Or I Black Ops playing, Two, sorry. I liked playing um, Modern Warfare Two, Three, and then Ghost. Remember when Ghost came out? Yep. Uh, yep. My, yeah, I played with my friends on the weekends. You know, home from fucking uh, when I didn't have the weekend duty, I was at home. Fucking get home Friday night, and I was up until Saturday afternoon. Fucking. Mountain Dew's all over the place, fucking uh, running around, talking shit. Like, I bet the... I don't know how you do that for hours on end. Like, I, like Where's two my hours hot pocket? Is, yeah. Mom, hot pocket. <laughs> Can't do it. Mom, that, uh, the Cartman, I don't know. And he's just sitting there like... <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. We took, we took little breaks, but it wasn't like straight. You know what I mean? It yeah, wasn't like, like... Two hours, I'm done. Like, dude. I, I can't stand, stand to be there any longer. I don't know. I was 20. What? When the, when the fuck did that shit come out? Oh, 25, wow. 25 or whatever. And I was just like, I didn't want to be at work. Cause fucking, uh, I wasn't having fun on the flight line then. And I was ready to get the fuck out. And so I was just home drinking beers, fucking running it, talking shit in the fucking, in the, uh, uh, what do you call it? I'm old. So I forget what it's called. Um, what are you talking about? You know, before you, the match starts, where everybody goes in, and then you can hear oh, the lobby. Fucking talk. Yeah, the uh, lobby. The yeah. lobbies used to be fucking rowdy, bro. We used to get in. <laughs> they still like are. Six of us would get in. It used to be rowdy, talking shit. Rah, 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 rah. I remember there. We used to be like, chuck a gun, chuck a gun, shut your cunt, shut your cunt, and just making fucking rowdy noises, and then uh, talking it, shit. Like it's still that way. There's a little like you tell you tell is like probably 12 or 13 year old. like, bro, bro, why is bro so weird? Bro, why is bro so weird? Like he keeps people follow were, me in this map, bro. People like, were flinging the N word all oh, over the fucking place, which is not cool, but still like still happens. And then he'd be like, oh, you just got you just got fucked up by a nine year old. And then we talk shit about like having the Xbox or the PlayStation as a babysitter, like good job being a fucking shitty father, that kind of thing. Like just making him feel like shit to where he fucking got off. Uh, yeah, we were we were assholes. Big. Big time assholes. So mean. That's why I knew it wasn't Blackbeard because uh, the guy that was 
oh, I thought I was imitating Blackbeard, kept saying the N-word a lot. Oh, man. <laughs> like, just every other word was that, and you're just playing like... <laughs> it's like, it's a never... Bro. It's never ending. I I got to the point now where I don't I don't really talk to I don't talk to anybody. I mute everybody. I fucking run around on my own and just do whatever I want. I normally Uh, have it on mute, but sometimes I'll just like if I'm playing like a free for all or something, I'll just unmute it just to see if anybody's talking. And eh, some matches nobody talks at all except for one guy at the end. He's like, "Oh, that was good game. Thanks, guys." He's like, "Good game. I just slapped my dick on your forehead, like that kind of stuff." Yeah, doesn't talk the whole game. Mm-hmm. Just says that at the end. And then you get like a, a one match you go into and everybody's like, bro, come at me. Come at me. You're on my screen. <laughs> it's like, come I'll come to your house right now. Don't make bro, me. I will come to your house right now. He's probably in Texas and you're probably in like Saskatchewan or something. <laughs> can calm down. Where? where you heard of Saskatoon? Where's Skakat? Yeah, he got it. What's Skakatoon? Is that? a snatch a tune? <laughs> Everybody, everybody's on steroids, but their voice up there. Oh, yeah. have you never seen the Grown Ups? Uh, yes. When they're at the water park and that really buff nice. guy comes up, the really buff guy comes up and he's like, "Hey, ladies, I'm from Saskatoon." Saskatoon. That you oh. ever heard of Saskatoon? Oh, that's in Canada. Where the moose teaser? The moose teaser up here. Feel so bad who's ever driving past your house right now. <laughs> They're probably like this guy every Friday. Every every Friday, Friday, he just turns into a Canadian, for, a Canadian <laughs> for like for like ten minutes. Every other done. Friday, mm-hmm. Canadian, Canadian, Canadians, Canadians are coming. <laughs> just walk well, out one day with like a Canadian, a, a Canada flag. I mean, they do hear me playing drums all the time too. So uh, there's that. So I I don't think that they're like. Very- Why does that guy play the same riff every day? And nothing changes. He's been doing it for 10 years and, and he's the not drums, gotten better. Dude, the drums are hard to play. Have you ever tried to play the drums? No, I don't. Play I mean, Blackbeard plays a steel drum. That's yep. different. Mon. Mon. <laughs> That's different. But have play, you, dude, trying to get all your limbs moving at once. It sounds easy when uh, the others are doing it, but it's hard. It's really hard. So uh, my dad only have this one limb that goes that you wants to move in one particular way. It's ab. One really fast limb. Yeah, one really fast limb <laughs> that doesn't keep up with the others. You know what I mean? One That's limb why that it looks like Popeye. Yeah, hmm? Popeye doesn't say either, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Why did you just say that with a list? Popeye doesn't have a list. Who me? Yes. Did you I say it with Popeye a list? Does. I you said did. Popeye doesn't say either, man, like that. I didn't say like Papa Bro. Sailor Man. No, not not no. A sailor. <laughs> that sounds like you. Have a, that's, that sounds like there's a you. bunch of Bud Light in there. I mean, he was in the Navy, so there's that. Did I did I send you that video of uh, some of my favorite comedians, Josh Blue? Uh, he's got cerebral palsy really bad, so his arm always shakes real bad. But he plays with it, right? Like he 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 does the stand up around that, so it's not like very awkward. Yeah. They talked about, he's like, man, if I drink, he's talking about Bud Light. He's like, if I drank that shit and I grew a pair of tits, he's like, this might be my last show. Like, he died from a motorboat accident. You yeah. wouldn't know what it what it was. <laughs> and he was Dang. hanging upside down. He's like, so I'm just letting you know, if I grew a pair of tits, I'd be playing with them all day. Yeah. He's like, I'm okay with it, guys. Yeah. I'll continue be, to drink it. I think I'd be unemployed. For sure. I'd have an OnlyFans. Would you? There you go. <clears throat> At least one. Do you know how easy it is now? Oh, yeah. Maybe two OnlyFans. Two OnlyFans and a Feet Finder. Be set up. Good to go. What he said in the corner. Yeah, your buddy. Wow, your audio is great today. Who? And by great, I mean it's really trash. Minus? <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. That's normal. It's bad. Sa- it sounds like you're on like a uh, like a call. You know, like you're, you know, when you talk to those, uh, uh, the scammers and then they're like, you say something and then it takes like two minutes for them to answer. Well, hell, the, the, the last time he was on our podcast, I'll tell was sponsoring his headset. Oh yeah. Yeah. It, it was a landline. Yo, yo, chirp back. Nothing. Those hey. things were fucking huge. Hang on. He's, di- he's dialing in. <laughs> he's got dial up. <laughs> he's got dial up. Welcome to the new age. It's DSL guys. 
Dude, it's hard. You know what? He's got the Dutch rudder arm, so it's hard to move. He's not used to using his left hand. You know what I mean? He's. Do you have to have somebody Dutch rudder now? Who's ever, who's ever yeah. editing this, you have to put in the dial-up sound. I think when that, that, that pause. <laughs> so I will. <laughs> Just fast dial. Yeah. Just yeah. Fast. Switch from the you external have... mic to the headphone. Does the headphone yeah. work better or no? Yeah. Uh, there's yeah, his work phone. Dude, do you Phone's have to hey, around here? Now that you got your arm all fucked up. Do you have to have somebody Dutch uh, rudder the other? Yeah. Getting yeah, somebody else a Dutch rudder. I can't do it myself. Yes. What's I, I really wish he would have did both arms that way. He had to have cast like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Walk around and be like, hey, man, is that field goal good? Oh, good. Never, never heard that one before. That's a good one. <laughs> good one, Wiley. Yeah. Let's start <laughs> the wave. Let's start the wave. Oh. Yep. I don't know. A whole yep. lot of that. Not that good. Yep. Hey, no, yo, about, kind of about last. Around. About last. Uh, it's been, a, it's, it's been a week, man. Oh. Especially where we work. It's been a week. <laughs> it's been a fucking week. It's been a week. So many mop bucket incidents. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Especially when I come in and go, what kind of fucking shift are you running? I mean, they're giving me shit. But what kind of shift are you fucking running around this motherfucker? I'm like, that's normal. Breathe it out. I yeah, heard it's normal. a fucking shit show. Breathe it out. All good. All good. But uh, hey, about the last episode, uh, I was talking to Mayor, and he was uh, talking about his fucking butterscotches. The, the we keep talking about his butterscotches. And he's like, "Fuck you guys!" And talking about the butterscotch all the fucking time. He's like, uh, "I'm not that old yet." Okay, you guys want a butterscotch? Hey, I did fucking I crewed pterodactyls in the 1900s. We were dropping dirt clouds, not bombs yet. We didn't have sheet metal back then. We had to just use the a fabric patch right on the wing. We traded sticks for rocks and rocks for fire and fire for dirt. You know those little sewing kits you get from Walmart that you can travel with? We had one of those in our pockets. That was called a red ball back then. We used to just sew up the little crack in the, in the wing there. That, those pterodactyls are ornery. He's going to get so pissed off. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be like, fuck you guys. This goddamn guys. This. I don't want to do this anymore. Don't stop. Just he's got to come on and tell us about the 1900s. I want to know what he experienced. What was it like? Well, he, like I mean, he was in. Did he have the? He didn't have. No. Okay, so he was in when he was there for the invention of the car. World yeah. War One. World no, War Two. It's not the car. It's the automobile. You'll get automobile. pissed if you if you don't call Whatever. it automobile. Whatever. <laughs> The airplane. When did he join? When did he join? I can't remember. I don't know. In the 1900s, I think it was like 1776. I remember he had <laughs> the Wright brothers in this tech school class, but I can't remember. He's, he's in a legendary. Uh, I should right now. I should call him. I can talk <laughs> shit to him, but he'll hear it. He'll hear it. Can you not? Can you call, call him on Zoom? That's like a Colin. I think he might be at work. Fuck him. Yeah. Who works? Isn't he retired already? If he no. got out in the 1900s, then he probably yeah. joined in 80s. He got okay, so he got he, he got out. I think in the 2000s, he was in the 1900s. Like he, he retired and crewed in the 1900s, and he got out in the 2000s. Oh. Dude, but and that works. And that'd be hilarious if he had uh, green fatigues and basic. Oh, the greenie, the green weenies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not even camo, just straight green. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I know. You know what? There's a guy who, that I worked with that, uh, I mean, we all worked with dudes that were in probably Desert Storm, you know, uh, dude that crewed the F 111, fucking the Spark Park. Try and bring that guy on. So he could give us, I think he's got, what, what did you call it last time? Butter rum? Butter rum. Butter nuts? Yes. Butter rum. Butter stuff? Butter in my nuts. Butter in my rum. Scotch. Yeah, but. Scotch. But nut? That's weird. What? What's going on? <laughs> Are you talking about butt nut? That's weird. Who's uh, butt nut? Who's butt nut? I was talking about butterscotch. Oh, butterscotch. Oh. Okay. And well, then, you said butt, and then somebody said nut. And then <laughs> so it's just like butter stuff, butter nuts. <clears throat> you like see how almost naked. That's cool. Buttery nut. Everybody knows that. I'm sir down. That was a good movie. Yeah. Half, remember Half Baked? I don't remember Half Baked. Oh, a long time ago. A long time ago. 
when he when he when he fed the horse all the snacks when he fed all the horse the snacks and he fucking he he keeled over tony garcia (laughs) the guy comes out of his little hey are you hungry what Mm -hmm. good lord (laughs) god damn you ain't got your shit together dude Oh. He's off in La La Land. Sorry, I had some spare ribs. Uh, the computer. I'm super fucked up. Ooh. I can't get the too big one. Uh, I had spare ribs. Too. My shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is so the shit. <laughs> yeah, this would be awesome to make a Stop song. Shit. The, the only thing that came oh, through the whole crazy. time was you heavy breathing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, a consistent yeah, heavy breathing. Just... Yep, there you go. <laughs> <sighs> it's like listening to Darth Vader go through like a software update. <laughs> My computer is working. Just on the table, he hears the breathing and his, his suit's just going crazy. But nobody has any topics. Uh Man, I I was thinking of something, but I got <clears throat> two. Let's talk minutes. about towing. Fucking oh, towing. Let's, yeah, let's talk about towing. Remember Camel the towing. the remember the last episode I talked about towing an airplane mm-hmm. and pulling the fucking nose strut out of it like a fucking toothpick. Mm-hmm. That well, that sucked. Granted, I didn't. I talked like this. So, and you played the sweet, sweet, sweet. But you couldn't jazz. You couldn't hear it on the video. You could, you could kind of hear it in the background. An audio. Do I have to turn it up? A few you would, and you'd have to turn it up. No. You would That's have it. to turn it up. But uh, stand by. Who's gonna talk? Who's got one? Who's got one? Who's got a good one? It's probably about time that I gotta wait. Wait. You gotta. Wait, you gotta wait for the jazz. You gotta wait for the jazz. That's coming. It's coming. Come on now. He's got the arm. I need the arm. Let's dude. see it. I, I need. I need that arm, dude. I'm kind of jelly. I'm jelly right now because you look like a professional podcaster and I look like a fucking piece of shit over here. It's got this springy thing on it. Oh my God. There it is. Oh. Smooth. 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 Easy. Easy listening. Why don't you go ahead and talk about your uh, experience there? So I, I think it was a DSV, but. Uh, don't remember much. We were towing into the wash rack like we do every damn day. Towing into the wash rack. Pushing it in. The driver was in the zone. And of course. He had to be a five, three or five. Probably three level. I think it was a five by then. An E4 Mafia member. Uh, E4 Mafia member. Those are the best members. Mafia members always get you good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We were pushing as it an, as an honorary member of the E4 Mafia. Thank you. And as we were pushing, the typical 15 guys left a B4 stand in the wash rack. Don't talk to you. And of course, I had stupid fucking weapons, wing walkers. What? And they did say there was a before Stan about to hit the wing. So it kept going and going. And then we finally noticed a few inches away before it smashed into the wingtip. And as we all blow our whistles and yell at the driver, he's in the zone and keeps going and destroys the wingtip of the Raptor. And there went my toe super qualifications. You heard it here live. Keys to the Jet Coffee House Hour. Wow. That was actually a really good one. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's funny you should say that. Okay, we're going to end this right now. Because how, how the hell do you run a wing into a fucking building? <laughs> Especially on a C-130. We had a dude that just watched the wing go into, like, the side of the hangar. And you're just like... Have you seen the size said, of that motherfucker? But, but when you're a toe soup and you're out front, you can see the you ha- the Concord's like 100 feet. It's a fucking giant trash hauler, dude. How do you not hit something with that bitch? You need fucking binoculars to see each wing. Bro. I went I've years had- toe souping and never ran an airplane into a building. 
You'd literally, you'd have to be dumb. Well, you only tow those things like once a year, so. No, yeah, we don't. Just to like tip them upside <laughs> down so you can get all the trash out. I will say we probably tow those things as much as we as we did on fighters, all the time. We actually, we, we actually probably ever tow seen heavy P towed because they were always broken. Easy. Or... But I will tell you, pushing back on a heavy compared to a fighter, way easier. How about? Uh, well, it made uh, it easier with with the transition over to to fighters for yeah, sure. Well, uh, tell us why don't you give us why don't you give us a good story there? You know, towing. Yeah, the good real good telling story since you wanted to bring it up turn on the smooth jazz and give our audience a really good story i'm trying to remember oh we got an mb4 up to like 25 miles an hour once i don't i don't know what that is you know what an mb4 we have an mb4 at that yeah one. you know what mb4 is the one that makes you bounce the whole time yeah no oh. suspension a psi no they're newer no. than the psi nmc woolards a coleman Yes. yes, it's Coleman. They're called MB4s. I don't, I don't call it by its normal nomenclature. I'm a fucking crew chief. I give a shit it's about on, that. It should have been on it's your on the 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> I don't read the 1800s. I just fucking sign them, dude. I can't read. Wait, say I that. Sign again. Them. Say that. Say that again. Okay. I, I want to read them. I, just I, I want to record that statement you just said. <laughs> off the record. Off the record. When I when I was a crew chief, I never read them. I just fucking signed them. All right. E or you have somebody else. Sign One more time. Do. One more time. When I was a crew chief. Yep. Way, way back. Hang on, let me turn the volume up. <laughs> See, I'm not a crew dog now. So, I, you know, I mean, once a crew dog, always a crew dog. But I don't do that job no more. I'm a janitor. You know what I'm saying? Although I will say, you know, you're in that category now where you were a crew chief and you went to the dark side. Yeah. Which makes a lot of sense because you were picked on a lot on the flight line, mm-hmm. and those people always go think so? to that office so they can I, come out and fuck everyone else over on the flight line. No, I picked on a lot of people. I wasn't really picked on. I picked on a lot of people. You're that dude that sits at the end of the ramp with binoculars, and you're like, I just saw you put in a screw without safety glasses above your head. Fail. Never have I done that. Never will I ever do that. Thank you. You sure about that? <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> Listen, dude, we had this cat that was in one of my last jobs at Nellis that was government who was butthurt because the A-10s went from military to civilian. So he went into this government position and would come over and rape the squadron all day long. He'd sit in his truck for lunch, right? He would get there at fucking 6 a.m., sit in his truck for lunch at the squadron. And then stay there until about three, just because he was butthurt that it went to uh, that it went to um, civilians. Yeah, yeah, you got a lot of that. You got a lot of that from pilots too. Pilots, we had this pilot that came through in weapons training, who was like an asshole, like a complete and utter asshole because we were civilians. And I was like, I'm basically doing the same fuck thing that I did in the service. You know what I mean? It's like trying to. Uh, where I don't just go to the commander and get a slap on the wrist, I'm going to get fired if I'm not a professional to you or show any sort of professionalism. So what you need to do is show some professionalism to me. And then uh, my our maintenance manager overheard him talking talking like an asshole to me, and uh, I told him about him talking like an asshole to me over the, uh, over the comm because he's like, uh, <clears throat> I was launching him out. He's like, yeah, uh, because I didn't set his switches. You ever worked A-10s? So yeah, do the same thing on 15s. Pilots get butt hurt. If you go not, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. My, my daughter's yelling. <clears throat> pilots get butt hurt, or at least A-10 pilots got butt hurt if you didn't set their switches. It's like, sir, all I got to do is unsafe the seat and put your bags up there. I, you know, you, you, oh, you've been through training. You can set your own switches. Right, whatever. I'm not core A10. I'm core F15. We can do this shit. We might set the engine masters, right? They're probably jealous of the real fighter guys. Right. I wish so, I could go fast. So he was an asshole to begin with, and then when we were going through the flight control shit, 
like I'm sitting at the back. He's like, yeah, we just do a bunch of shit like this. And then he fucking send it. You know what I mean? Like didn't let me tell him any of the deflections or anything like that. Cause you have to see if it's moving correctly. Right. He was just an asshole. He got hemmed up by his uh, commanding officer. Long short story short. And the maintenance manager and all that shit. He was very apologetic. Mm-hmm. Very apologetic. Yeah. But no beer. No beer. They mm. didn't. They didn't let us get beer. Yeah, it's a little different. Well, you're a civilian, yeah. well, you're no, a civilian it, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah it's it's a company. They didn't let us get beer from the pirates. But uh, yeah, they're very. They were very. The A10 guys, man, core A10 guys, like that community. When it went civilian, they get so salty about it. I don't. I don't know why. Maybe it's because a lot of them got sent to the F-35. <laughs> From the A-10s, they got sent to the F-35 or like the MQ-9 or whatever, you know? So they got salty, but it is what it is, man. That's where most of the hate for the F-35 came from. <laughs> the military, A-10 guys thinking they were going to get replaced. Oh, yeah, because they're like, oh, they, F-35 can't do fucking A-10's cast job. And it, no, let's be real. It cannot. They cannot do it the a10's job so i'll agree with those guys there but a lot of the hate are it come from those guys especially when you get two like big known squadrons that go to civilians i bet they celebrated as soon as the contracts got pulled as soon as the contracts got pulled they're like yeah i'm going back whoa because one squadron at dm and then one squadron at nellis got turned into civilians so but then they got taken back took it back over that's my story you got hate in your heart, let it out. Hate in your heart, let it out. Hate in your heart. What about what about you, Fab? I'm sure you working at like Mountain Home. They should have, they could have had a fucked up ton of fucking toes the there. Oh yeah. It is done. We had a guy uh he got kicked out, pulled the emergency brake steer handle and slammed on the brakes while we were towing just to see if it would work. Ooh. Snapped the tow bar in half. Uh we did a tow. Actually, we weren't towing anything then. We were in the old PSIs, and the back end of it caught on fire. <laughs> so we were driving down the fucking taxiway. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Um, so we had fucking crazy ones. We had like, huge fires all over the place one time. So they called us all in. Like, just like from get into work now. Or what? Yeah, like wildfires. Canadian so get into work now. Fires? We got to move all the all the jets. Where are their mooses? Uh, we're in there moving jets, fucking flip flops and shit. Oh, Standard, you know, fuel tank deep puddle on the way to fuel barn. Okay. I mean, allegedly. I don't know. I don't... About I fuel. Know, I wouldn't know that. <laughs> when I first got to Edwards on 15s, you know how like in tech school, they fuel tubes or buckets or whatever to catch the fuel? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm catching, I think it was a, I don't know. I was either on the launch or catching it. I don't remember. And uh, we go to shut down. And I'm like, what, a, what about the fuel tubes or a bucket or something, right? like no we just let it dump on the ramp here i was like wow that's fucking awesome <laughs> wow <laughs> that ain't gonna last long <laughs> Epa! Epa! i was like this is california and you just let it piss wherever you want they're like yeah they don't care here and then I mountain home being 220 and 229 cert and hopping back and forth between the two different jets mm-hmm. and forgetting to scavenge or scavenging when you don't need to scavenge yeah it's a fucking disaster <laughs> Fucking catching fuel. So stupid. Bro, we had this dude talk about scavenge. This uh we would have there's palm trees behind us. Remember over by the queue? Yep. Where those like prop jobs were? Mm-hmm. Mickey we Mouse planes. You would have people like scavenge to try and blow those fucking palm trees over because <laughs> it was right behind <laughs> you. Allegedly. Yeah, if you don't slap the mill stop on a scavenge, you're fucking up. Dude, one time I was running a raptor and it was parked like right there in front of the fire department. And I cannot say the percentages or whatever, but yeah. I did bump yeah. it up a little bit. And <laughs> after I got out, I remember the pro super came up in, in the truck and he started yelling at me about how the, the fire chief called and about how we were knocking the uh, the pictures off the wall. Because <laughs> of the jet. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, we had we had a cat running a jet and I was uh, intake guard. Intake guard. Woo! We had my yeah. disco vest on. Getting blinded by the light in the taxi. There was a, yeah, there was a dude. I, dude, 
Did I tell you the story about the taxi light? No, that was just something everybody did when they were running. Or the (laughs) the landing light? Or the landing light? Where they were like, they were like, hey, uh, dude, I think that that light's cracked, man. Can you check it out, bro? Can you look at it? And I was like, yeah, sure. This is the one time that I got got. The one time I got got. (laughs) They're like, yeah, uh, yeah, sure, dude. I'll check. Whatever, man. Checked it out. Bing. Turned it on on the bottom. It's like, you mother. I'm blind. (laughs) No wonder I got eye problems now. You didn't know. Um, It was a good time. But anyways, I was in take guard. Um, and this dude was pushing a box behind him, and I don't know if this was, was inadvertent, whatever. Allegedly, uh, he scavenged, scavenged the motor and pushed the box over onto this <laughs> that this kid was pushing, <laughs> and it fucking went on on and for, uh, I think it broke or sprained his ankle oh. with the box. Like it pushed the box over. It's a better story in my head, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Apologize. I'm just picturing over. this kid pushing his toolbox, minding his own business, just getting toppled by it. Yeah, <laughs> dude, we're on Alpha. Ro- we're on Alpha Row at Tyndall, so if you, I don't know if you've ever been there or not, Fab. You probably have. But yeah, uh, yeah he's just pushing his box, trying. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go play spades. <laughs> I think it was a weapons box, so it wasn't that bad. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I got pushed over onto this kid. It was. Uh, I, I don't know what happened. That I didn't do that on purpose. You ever get the guys? We had those big, like, maintenance, heavy maintenance boxes that were the big ones. Oh, the and big push hydro boxes. Oh my god! Uh, they're like, they're like the size of the red ones at the janitor land, but so they had like every tool in it for anything you could ever do. And you would get the new guys that would pull out like the top drawer, not find the tool, pull out the like the next one, and keep opening them all up till it just smashes them. And then they're trapped under this giant toolbox <laughs> with tools worst. scattered everywhere. <laughs> That's the worst, dude. Because you're like, oh, yeah. what happened? I've done that to like <laughs> smaller boxes. Luckily, tools didn't go all over the place, but it was like, oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, shit, trying to hold them up. You catch it before it tops all the way over. Yeah. Like, fuck, help. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, did you guys have ever uh, any? Okay, so working fighters. Do you guys have any like thought incidents where you're running and then shit gets sucked up? Heard about a few incidences that happened down there in 15s. When I, I can was tell you about one Florida. that I was on. I can t- I can I've heard <laughs> about another <laughs> one personally. Huh. Yeah. Uh, I was an intake guard, disco vest. And this gentleman uh, got grabbed a hold of the eagle claw and reached down the intake which was running. The jet was running. He reached down the intake. Nice. And it it uh, it sucked his headset up and then sucked the fucking comm cord up like a spaghetti noodle. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, then just... apparently when he was telling, talking to the commander, and this is, I wasn't in there, so I didn't hear it, but apparently when he was talking to the commander, the commander was like, what? What did you do? What, what happened? Well, I was, uh, see what had happened was I got curious. And so I reached down the intake while I was running to see if I get sucked up, see how far I could reach in before I get sucked up. <laughs> and it, oh. yeah. And it's so a fought out of motor. Yeah. We just heard that a headset got sucked in. We didn't like really hear why or what happened. Yes. It was a headset. And a fucking idiot. Yes. <laughs> I just want to see what happens. Yeah. That's the, yes. It was a good time. I know you always think about that when you're like next to a running jet, but you never yeah. get close to it because you know what's going to happen. And like this dude, this dude was a cool guy. Granted, he lived on fucking Diet Dr. Pepper and Pop-Tarts. Hmm. I, that's all he ate. On pizza. Hashtag nutrition. Hashtag living his best life, you know, as a staff. Uh, but after that incident, I don't believe he was a staff any longer. No, I don't think he was even in it any longer after that. Yeah, they probably should have kicked him out. Mental. But, yeah, it was like, I, well, I just want to see, I, I just want to see how far I could reach in before I got sucked up. And uh, there goes the intake in the fucking, or there goes the uh, headset, and there goes the comm cord, like a spaghetti noodle, straight through the motor. Did it catch fire or anything? Like. <gasps> You just what saw happened? shit come out the back. <laughs> <laughs> what was this on? Fuck. Oh, that's good. Huh? What aircraft? 15. 15. Some dude uh, 
I will recap you. Uh, essentially, some dude wanted to know what would happen if he reached down the intake, if he gets sucked up or not. His headset and Comcore got sucked up. Really good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I don't think we ever had any. I've never been like, I think we ever had anything other than birds and shit. Oh, as far bird. as engine pod, yeah, bird strikes all the time. Yeah, bird strikes are the best. Anything. They smell the best. I love it when <clears> you <throat> have to go into an intake and it just, just the smell reminds you of like a home cooked. Oh yeah, Thanksgiving yeah. meal. You know, because the just... bird people need a sample. Did you yeah. remember that fucking sample kit that yeah. they had? Yeah, the, one have... yeah. the one glove. Yeah, one glove. The coffee filters. <laughs> the yeah, to wipe up the guts. <laughs> Yeah. So the bird people could fucking have a sample of what bird it was and his migratory <laughs> like, status wow. bullshit. This this uh reminds me of a great Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> I mean, it was we had so we had one uh, uh C130 come in and they didn't realize they hit a bird on the leading edge and you just he's taxiing in at night and you just, uh, as they're taxiing in sometimes those seven levels you grab the the old mag lights and you'll, you'll shine it at the like the uh, things you're not visioning that you know blinding the pilot but you're looking at stuff before it comes in or as it's going down the taxiway and you just see like a gaping hole in like the right oh, wing no. leading edge and as it pulls up you can see like the bird just like dangling out of it because it's got stuck in the leading edge but it's also you know 20 degrees outside so they had the, the heat on the anise on so the <laughs> fucker just got cooked in there yes <laughs> like, yes thousand degree bleed air just running through the leading edge my, my germs you get on top of the wing and you can just smell it roasting like delicious you ever see that picture of that c-130 where i think it was a bald eagle came through like the bottom of the nose and you just see like a picture Mm. Like the floor of the cockpit, and it's the eagle head, and then it's a picture of the pilot, and he's just splattered with blood and guts. Yep. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> Listen, bad. Oh, I'm sorry. We're pr- trying to protect your identity today. What would you like to be called? Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. My name is Jeff. <laughs> My name is Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the FOD story, dude. Good times. Great times. Great oldies. Uh, I think that was it, man. That's all I saw get fucking sucked up at it. Sucked down the intake. It was just that. On the ground. You know? Yeah. I can't it was always it. funny really watching like the, the moths or the butterflies like just flying around. <laughs> like the aircraft sitting there just like yeah. an idol and you're just like, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> just disappears. Like, oh. You ever see those I ones that would fly like fly in, and fly in back, out. back out? Yeah, yeah, I would see yeah. that and be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, you'd yeah. have like a fucking. What do you uh, mean we gotta stand forty away. feet away? This bullshit. <laughs> yeah, you'd have like a tornado fucking on the ground, you know, because Florida if it rained all the fucking time. You got fuck tornado on the ground with the water, and then you see these fucking grasshoppers going in and out, and you're like, "Oh, what the fuck?" <laughs> that was always cool on on like one thirties with the props. If it was if it had just rained and you'd see the vortex get sucked up and it looked like a tornado going up, like at, a, at an angle, it was it was pretty cool. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cool. Like, just I'm an airplane nerd, man. I love airplanes. Just seeing them do all kinds of stuff. It was like always better in the summertime airplane. when it was like you know like the, the it was very muggy outside with the humidity in the morning, and you watch them take off and you'd see the propeller twirls behind the aircraft yeah and all the, or all the props as it's taking off the wingtips as, as they come in for like a touch and go you see them come the, the yep. fucking, uh humidity behind the wingtips yep that was always the, a good time the chemtrails oh allegedly <laughs> yeah. can't tell yeah. them if we had chemtrail uh if we were signed off in our 623s for the uh, chemtrail solutions or not the refilling uh, I don't know if we did it in the desert, but our field dumps on all of the red guarded switches, we we put little P touch things that chemtrails for the dump nice. mass. Nice. I did use to mess with all the pilots though in Bagram because they'd always talk about seeing like weird shit out there. So if you go on Google, you can get like a US Air Force like aircraft identification chart 
and it shows like flying saucers weather balloons and like all these like weird like like starship enterprise like all these weird like plane you know aircraft or whatever and every single one of them says weather balloon yeah and i would post it above the pilots like on the in the cockpit somewhere I'm like hey just in case you see anything let us know what it was dude float around and find out bro isn't float there another one out. is that what you you sent me there's another balloon over hawaii recently oh no i think it was that was just like a what the fuck did i send you i sent you a bunch of that shit in remember. like north carolina or whatever the jet like broke the sound barrier and then they like scrambled out for it. Oh, that shit yeah. on the news. Yeah, that was a citation. The pilot um, went unconscious and mm-hmm. everybody died on board. So he was hypoxic. Yeah, I think everybody got hypoxic on the plane. Did they, yeah, that they sent all the F 16s up for? Did all that see, could get up. Did you see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking all sent them up them? from Shaw. <laughs> like, Shaw's like, God damn, I've got to get these on. But they do. But you see all the, you see all the people complaining, flight. all the people complaining because it, it was disrupting my day. The yeah. sound barrier is like, really? You know what? Really? Uh, it happened. It happened again back in or happened before back in 2015, 2016, where two two PAX jets went up there and fucking were fucking around around the, the eastern seaboard and were doing uh, breaking the sound barrier. And they got in trouble for that because people were. It was the same thing. Oh my god! Look at sounds. It's only boom. We're being attacked. Oh god! I almost wanted to. And then it was like, in the news of like two F thirty five breaking the sound barrier. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I was wanted to like post be like just come to Edwards. <laughs> no, you know. Okay, that brings me to a good topic. The people that fucking want to build or live around fucking Air Force bases. They know that these fighter, maybe they don't know, but they're like, oh man, I'm going to move to Phoenix, dude, because uh, California and all these other fucking democratic states are really high cost of living. So I'm going to go to Phoenix and I'm going to live in this fucking area that's really, really nice, but also has an Air Force base and happen to have, oh, I don't know, four fighter squadrons at it that has loud fucking jets. And then they're like, ah, I never expected this. They need to quiet down. They're too loud. They need to get out of here. We sign this petition. Dad, here's, here's a butterscotch. <laughs> Take my butterscotch. God damn it. You know, like that kind of shit. It's the same thing in Florida where they're like, yeah, we're bringing the F 35 here. They're too loud. Oh, fuck. They did that, that up in uh, uh, Burlington, Vermont. So Vermont was the first guard base to get F 35s. And they had F 16s prior to that. And they're trying to raise a petition because, you know, the, the sound decibels for the F-35 were just a little bit higher than the F-16. And people are like, it's going to ruin the community and blah, blah, blah. And the base commander is just like, we fly like every weekend. Yeah, get like the it, it's, over it's it. the same noise. Like nothing's going to change. Get the fuck over. It's like those people who are like, you, okay, you're a military spouse. You're a Dependa, uh, like a, BX battle cruiser, you know, and hippopotamus. Like, yeah, BX battle cruiser, and you're like, oh my god, that track air sure looks nice. We're here. <laughs> my kid can't sleep because of all these airplanes. I'm j- I'm gonna call the commander. Fucking, what the fuck are you gonna do? There were people the fuck over it. They were dependents like that on Edwards. Oh, I'm sure there still are. There's ones like that on every base. Mm-hmm. And they they brief you in the newcomers brief. I remember this at Edwards. They were like, hey, tell your spouses we break the sound barrier here. So, like, there's going to be loud booms daily. Yo. It happens. When I first moved here, that freaked me the fuck out. Because nobody nobody told me that that happened. So, I was here. <laughs> and Dude, I, I, was I was ready for it. I was chilling in, my, uh, chilling in my house, like, fucking getting ready for work or whatever. And all of a sudden, it's, Gah-gah! I'm like, what is going on? What? What was that? Who just hit what? T- your tidy whities with a gun. Who is that? <laughs> Who's just a suction cup f- dildo? Like I'll get what this the, fucker. What the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck just happened? Who's not to bother me while I'm cleaning oh, my room? It it took me a few times. It took me a few times to get what. The I was fuck watching was cops, guys. I was like, what? I don't. 
somebody just hit so what the fuck we're checking the house making sure nobody hit my guard the garage or like anything like that and then and it wasn't until i was at work and then all of a sudden at the hangar and i'm like these motherfuckers got me <laughs> i'm like i'm an idiot there's some that still fucking get me they're good ones every once in a while what when they're going yeah, over every once in a while i get got pretty good when, when they're going over the base and you're like walking into work it get, it, what, what's always funny is when you get new new hires and they don't they don't notice it yet and you're just talking to them and then like a giant one happens and they duck and you're just still talking like in a normal voice like and then <laughs> this is where you'll do this and they're, they're, they're looking like did you not hear that <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's normal don't worry about that yeah. that's just pretty awesome though that shit's pretty cool to to be at a place where they constantly do that. I like it. That's the only thing I hate about being in um, the box in the hangers. Like you'll be typing, all of a sudden it's like, damn it, mopping. Hit, hit, yeah, hit backspace a bunch of times. You be you be mopping. Yeah. Typing up your mopping memo. Yeah, I'm filling out our forms. Mop, yeah, mop schedule. filling out the forms to the schedule. The yeah, the schedule fa- or order facilities, more stuff. The facility forms. Yeah, to order more shit. Right? More simple yeah. brain. Yeah, you're typing like trying to type simple, <laughs> and you end up typing dimple. Simple yeah. brain. <laughs> simple dimple. But you know what I'm saying? Yes. Or you're, you know, you're trying to like get new forms, and your computer screen just starts shaking, and you're like, damn it, stop. That happens. Well, they do it in time. waves too. Whenever they're doing all those tests, so you get like those weeks where it's five or six of them a day or you or it's orange flag and you have the fucking e-models that are here they're yeah. just doing it on a constant basis if it's open if it's open send it send it send drop it. the motherfucking hammer but, but that, they'll tell you that though when you get here is we, we live in the supersonic corridor so it's like the only place in the u.s that they're authorized to do that they don't have that call for it they just do it yeah do you think that they do they take up like tape decks like like an Iron Eagle and then they turn on the when they're doing it? No. I made a lot of money making patch cords back in the day. Where they could they plug it into the jet and then plug the headset into the little cord. Allegedly. And it's got like a headphone oh, jack. Oh, we had those too. We plug we, it we, in. We called them Herky cords. Yeah. Allegedly. We made a lot of money on some pilots making those things. Hell yeah. Or if you got in good with a like com nav or avionics dude, you could just have him whip you up one. So you plug your David Clark into it, and then you can plug it into your iPhone when you're traveling. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, you know what this uh, you know what this podcast is missing, right? You guys, do you guys know what the, what it's missing? Well, from one of our top followers, support. Uh no, we're missing okay. making fun of weapons. Ooh. Fuck support. We haven't had weapons on here. One time to make fun of them. Of course, we'd have to have three of them, obviously. And that's the hard part. Logistically, you got to have three. <laughs> Logistically, so. you got to try and get them together. Yeah, but they should be yeah. together already. You you would assume. They got the spades going. One's napping. The other one's at the smoke pit. That's true. That's true. They can't do anything without their one man. Or is um, it their three man? Yeah. Their know. weapons their fest man. bullshit. Weapons fest they just end up with one three man who looks <laughs> at you like he has no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, they have their checklist. They, it'd be funny to get one of them on and then just make fun of them. But I mean, make fun of weapons. We haven't had an engines guy on to make fun of yet. Of course, they're like a crew chief. So we've had avionics, but he was Marine Corps, so it doesn't really count. Yeah, because all they know is like, we need to get a real like Air Force nerd. Stuff. In here, my roommate is a. Uh, Ooh, I bet you as a okay. as an Air Air Force nerd. Let me reach out to somebody right now. You're gonna do it right now. All right, meow. Out of all the we other shops, we are live. I we are think. Live. Yeah, out of all the other shops, I think I hate weapons the most. You hate weapons. Yes. Why? And I, I never used to really hate them. Well, I went through phases, I guess, until I got on Raptors. Man, I could not fucking stand outside of work. There, okay, but at work, we mm. wanted to kill every single weapon because <laughs> they all—they were always running the APU and always fucking breaking it. Oh. Always, 
constantly. Oh, I've, I've got a really good one with weapons at M1. I will leave names out, names, dates, uh, <laughs> and aircraft tail numbers. All right, I just but, sent him a text saying you need to come on to represent the avionics community for the Air Force. Who? Good buddy of mine that I was stationed with. He was in uh, he was um, at Little Rock, and then we came out here in fighters. Then he went up to Isleson. Now he's down at Eglin. Great. And he was QA up in Isleson. Goddamn quality guys. Fucking quality. Friend of mine is uh, QA up there right now, currently. Yeah, I hate quality. Whoa. Well, let's not go that route. All right. <laughs> Let's not go that route. Well, uh, I mean, how to mop better and QA will leave you alone. Yeah. Teach Pretty your simple. people how to mop better. Listen, QA your cardboard you cutout is not going to yell at me when I'm doing my job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Follow your tech data and do the job right. And quality doesn't get to do anything. Processes, too. So I'm not going to say it on recording, yeah, but maybe like I'm going to get a like full size, life size cutout of certain someone so when you come into my area of specialties it'll be like the hand up from a uh, uh, vacation with chevy chase and it's like sorry folks <laughs> dude okay so talking about weapons this uh i got that AP- idea from goodyear and apus check this out mid shift mid shift a10s uh we're in the break room because we're we're fucking done with shit, right? It's early in the morning. We're in the break room chilling, and so a motor starts up. You hear, have you, you ever been around an A10 motor? You could tell. So we hear a motor start up. And we're like, oh yeah, engines must be out there fucking running a jet, whatever. Cool. And then they come out of their office into the break room, and they're like, hey, are you guys out running a jet? We're like, no, we thought you were. It's like, nope, not us. We're like. Nobody go the fuck out there. Nobody go out there. But we had to go out there, obviously. There was an airplane on fire. <laughs> there was an airplane on fire. And they had, people had to go put it out and help until the fire department got here, whatever. Apparently, weapons didn't do their safe for maintenance. And mm. there were CBs that shouldn't have been CB'd. Mm. There were... Um, throttles that shouldn't have been throttled and so when you put all of it together and then go turn on the apu since all these things are already on as soon as the apu catches up to speed the motor's gonna crank Mm. right and that's what happened the motor cranked it had the fucking covers in all the covers in all the all the dash 21 was on the airplane it all caught on fire because Dang. of weapons. Some kind of special. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what happened to those individuals. Uh, I think that they were like, bye. <laughs> like the next day. Bye. There's also weapons cats when we had two airplanes crash over there because the I think the pilots tried to high five each other while they were flying. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it was Inverted. essentially it was like a training a training mission gone wrong because in the A10s you don't have a two seater, so in order for them to look, I'm doing the pilot stuff. Uh, I don't know specifics, but they hit each other, right? They hit each other while they were flying, essentially. And one of the weapons cats, when they were uh, like drug testing people, he, they were like, "Oh, they're drug testing us." Yeah, I quit, and he fucking walked out. He quit. He, just, he quit and walked out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, this was at Nellis. This was at Nellis. Oh. Civilian. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. <laughs> yeah, he was like, "Yeah, I quit." I think there was like two or three people that actually quit because they were doing drug testing. So what happens Weak. when you're on that crank on that? San Jose biker crank. <laughs> yeah, think who else? I know it's weapons wise. 
Well, the the group so we on. have probably probably oh, not many. No. Ooh. Really. Who's that? Really? Uh, it oh, is. he's a day shifter. Okay. You're saying it wrong. I I'm... Dilla. Padilla. Casey yes, Dilla. I I know it's Padilla. I wasn't <laughs> trying to say his full name. He's a Jesus. Dilla. Okay. Well, yeah, when you I say mean... Padilla, it's like saying Polo. <laughs> Talking about food, we know you're talking about chicken, motherfucker. <laughs> mm. uh, potentially, I don't know. I could, I probably have some. I can see it. Friends. I have some weapons friends that I can just jet to and be like, "Hey, we want to make fun of you. Come on here." It would be thy honor. It would, <laughs> yes, <laughs> it would be thy honor if you can show up and we make fun of you. We could play smooth jazz while we do it. While well, we make fun of him. Mm-hmm. That'd be good, and then just talk like this. It'd be better if we get out. one, and then they get their crew. You know. Oh yeah. Just bust it out, whole one, two, and three man crew. Ooh, what about Carl? Yeah, he'd Carl be, would do it. He'd be Carl good. Would do it for sure. You just Carl, gotta hide. Yeah. You gotta hide the corn dogs from him. <laughs> Look, <laughs> he's a glizzy champ, man. Did you see? That was on his resume. Face. Or, He's like corn dogs. That means hot dogs. Yeah. Or Carl. Hot dogs. <laughs> there's, there's hot dogs. <laughs> his like fa- his favorite food is like corn dogs. I, I caught him one day. Weapons. <laughs> he was down there at his desk and he, he had one and he was looking around because he knows they're gonna talk shit to him. So he he like he, he, he like look left. He like look right and he just like leaned down and he went to go eat it real quick and, and I was like I got you, Carl. He's like, damn it. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. That's, I'm pretty sure Blackbeard <laughs> went to his went to his uh yeah, tornado flashbacks. Is I went to him a happy place of <laughs> of hot dog happy place. <laughs> Picture all the hot dogs falling on your face. Uh, love me some hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you like that guy in that video that uh, takes the hot dog and he just sucks it down? <laughs> <laughs> I can hear Fab breathing in the background. <laughs> oh, did you say hot dog? Hot oh, dog. <laughs> He's so messed up. On my, so messed up. My pain meds is just ah, <sighs> <sighs> hot dogs. Hot chicken. Dog. Oh, oh. Dreaming about hot dogs here. Oh, oh hot dog Franks. <laughs> the soft cushiony buns. <laughs> oh my! Oh my God! Did you say steak? Oh, chicken! Yeah, Williams talking about shack skin. <laughs> oh, chicken! <laughs> just funny. Oh, chicken! Yeah, good times. That's what he's like. You want a whooping? Oh, <laughs> <Yes>. whooping! <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's like Sha- Shaq invited me over to his kid's birthday party. <laughs> this dude's six years old, six years old, taller than me. Uh, I have to watch that again because our somebody on our YouTube channel <clears throat> uh, commented, and it's somebody that I work with. I fuck, dude. Just the whole name throws it off, but he was like, "Oh, chicken," and we used to talk about uh, the uh, ever expanding. The slowly expanding airman, which was probably me, you know, getting fat. And then we'd be like, oh, <laughs> chicken. <laughs> you guys save me some more M&Ms, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I never did the M&M trick at, in uh, the Air Force, da- but. Uh, Daddy can oh, tell the colors. <laughs> oh, we still haven't done that yet here. Oh, <laughs> I need it. It'd be fun. Are you like that uh the, the big girl from Deuce Bigelow when she pulls out the half chicken <laughs> from his shirt? I'm gonna I'm fuck you till you die. <laughs> uh you know what? I wasn't that fat. I was fat, but not that fat. Slowly expanding airman. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly expanding. Oh chicken. We we had a dude like that at, at Little Rock and uh can't time for him to get promoted to senior, you know, so you got to get in your blues and all that stuff. And he probably hadn't resized his blues since basic. Yet said dude was expanding at an expansion, yeah. ex- exponential rate. And so he's up there in his blues. That, that, that jacket was just screaming. 
the buttons like, the buttons dude, were hold on for dear life i've had to do that before dude it sucked like because because i lost so much weight prior to coming in the air force and then like it came back because i was like yeah i fucking lost it and now it's fucking i ain't gotta worry about it i can eat whatever the fuck i want nope Nope. It's like everybody, was, everybody, when they go to basic, you, you, you're stressed out. You're all you're doing is PT. You're drinking oh. nothing but water. You barely have any food. So you lose like 40 pounds. No, it was you, like, you look so anorexic when you come out prior to the air force. Um, I was like 240. So I had to lose a fuck ton of weight, get down to 185 before they even fucking talk to me. I, and I, I went in. It, yeah. But I did it in a very unhealthy fashion where I didn't eat. I fucking took stacker three or fucking yellow jackets all day. Fucking riding a bicycle. Like I went, it went quick. And then when I got the crystal meth cleanse. Yeah. When I got back to, uh, I didn't take crystal meth now. I mean, but you know, the yellow jackets I mean, and fucking stackers yellow jackets are basically the same fucking know. thing. Yeah. Uh, when I got out, when I permanent party and I was like, yeah, dude, what's up? Yeah, I ain't got to worry about shit, dude. I'll just do some PT sometimes. It'll be all right, you know? No. And yeah, it happened. I drank a fuck ton of beer. I didn't do PT. I ate a fuck ton of shit. The chow hall was closed, so they were paying us BAS. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to go to fucking Taco Bell. Right there, dude. What's up? And then, yeah. Then they're like, yeah, we're going to start PT testing. I was like, fuck. I'm fucked, dude. And then it went from, you know, just paying the PTLs, allegedly. You know, a fucking 24 rack of beer to fucking give you a <laughs> a 78 or an 80 yeah. Yeah. to, oh, fuck, now I really got to do shit. And, yeah, so I was the ever-expanding airman. Love chicken. I went into basic 210 pounds, and they came out 161. God damn. Yeah. Dude, I was tiny. That, wow. That's fucking yeah. crazy. When we did the, the the final weigh in at the end of like the eight and a half weeks or whatever, my TI looked at me. He was like, "You lost like forty fucking pounds." <laughs> it's like, yeah, cool. I mean, all we do is run. All you do is PT. All you do, I mean, that's that's all you do for eight weeks. Of course, anybody's gonna drop massive amounts of weight. You carried around a rubber rifle, right? No, we had the full metal ones. Oh, that's all they, right, dude. They were I, heavy as shit. I just sat in the back of the fucking the day room or the uh the dorms talking about penguin nipples uh rolling my socks so there's that the the barrels were uh like plugged on the the receiving end but they were full metal and then just the the forward grip and the hand grip were all were blue they are full metal m16 a2s nowadays they're the whole time you basic uh they did that after us yeah, we got them. Like, we got them like the second, uh, probably third week. So for about mm-hmm. five weeks, we had to carry them. You had ABUs, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. I came in the year after they stopped doing the, the camos. Fuck! I had BDUs six weeks. All we carried around was a canteen. <laughs> yeah. I was the very last person in my flight to wear BDUs up until like the the date. We cut off every, was it 2012 or something it was like sometime in uh, 2010. it was before that it was in 2010 yeah. uh, mm. i was the very last person and i'd always get shit like arn are you like you need to get bdus that's not required yet or abus it's not required yet so i'm not gonna get it every every fucking day i'd get shit dude but when they fun. When they went to ocps when they first came out with like it was like oh the next day you can wear ocps like finally there's only like two people in my school or two or three people in my squad are not here at Edwards that actually had OCPs from deploying. It's like the next day we all showed up in OCPs, just the three of us. And people were like, wow, you guys took this to heart. We're like we already had them. If you ever deployed, you know, only three of us out of the whole squadron have deployed. You get them. Hey, not everyone's that fucking special. Okay. When Thank I you. deployed, I got DCUs. <laughs> Yeah, you put it. He's nuts. <laughs> was where's that? They're all thin too. This is a badass. Yeah, I think I still have mine somewhere. Tyndall yeah, deployments were really somewhere. hard. The the Tyndall deployments were really tough. They deployed to like 
races and like games and like SpaceX, Talladega. I mean, it was really tough. They went to Talladega for deployment. They went to like Daytona for deployment. They went to like Jaguar games for deployments. I mean, it was really, really a tough thing from what I heard. You know, they went to, uh, I don't know how you made it through. They went to Key yeah. West. They went to Key. It was, I mean, the AOR was horrible. <laughs> the, the, P, the PTSD from, you know, the, the Key West stuff is all the fireworks. Fucks, probably fucks most people up. Just, if you go to Key West around Halloween, you're definitely going to have some PTSD. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, so did you look up a uh, veteran thing today? You happen to have one of those? Not. I woke up right before. <laughs> yeah. mm. was, uh, I told you they, oh. they switched my meds up, so it's like it's yeah. hard. Sleep. It's hard. Yeah. It's always hard. It's always hard. <laughs> like you got always. Cialis now? Like you want me to stand up? Yeah. <laughs> Do it. Put your pants back on. Oh, you got no pants on. Oh. Well, let's let's just say it's like this size, you know. Well, Is that sorry. A no, no, can? no, it's a, a little air can. It's oh, not you're that huffing, are it's you not huffing air before we do before you do this or what? There it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Actual size like, comparison. Like, like pitch in a tent. Dang, dude. Hey. I can't be like the tuna can. <laughs> it happens, man. <laughs> not everybody can be the tuna can, dude. But Fab's staring off into the distance. What are you what are you doing over there? Let's uh, very looking quiet. at uh would you rather very- questions <laughs> we already did that yeah no nobody just sent me one so i started looking through the whole list yeah so why don't you give us one i'll find a good one hold on there's 200 of them i'll wait oh my gosh sorry i'm looking at fab you guys are probably like hey i gotta look this way adam I got, yeah i gotta look this way well, I guess we're all kind of turned the same way. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, me you and Red are looking at each other. I'm a man and, named Fab. And then Rhino's looking off into space. Mm. Who, who am I touching right now? Ooh, that's nobody. Me. You're touching my tank. Oh. Nobody. Oh. What do you mean? Yeah, nobody. You're just straight up. Uh, no, yeah. he, was t- he was touching my tank. Everybody's at the top for me. Oh. Oh, I can change it. There we Rhino, go. So Rhino's down here. Now it's all four of us. Uh, your Blackbeard's down there. Fab is over that way for me. So Rhino just touched my taint. How'd it feel? <laughs> yeah, I put cocoa butter on it to keep it soft mm-hmm. quite often. Definitely haven't showered. Uh, is that, not wait, musty. Is that, is that Nair? <laughs> yes, no, it's cocoa butter, cocoa butter and Nair. It's kind of a mix. I like to keep it soft while getting rid of the. Uglies. These ones are all fucking wild. We gotta go through them and store some, and then read them off another day. But oh my I'll, god, I'll tell you the one that he sent me, which is I don't know. So, would you rather have your parents walk in on you having sex in their bed, or show your parents your entire porn search history? Watch the show. See me in action. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can you turn on the camera while you're over there? <laughs> Once I learn how to clear my browser. Uh, hmm. I remember. I, I would rather show my search history because I remember them walking, going in my room after I'd moved out or gone to the Air Force. I had moved all my shit and I had a backpack, a big old backpack full of hustlers. You know what I mean? Like a big backpack full of hustlers. And then my mom was like, <laughs> Dude, really? I was like, oh, red. Uh, hey, listen. You know dumb. what hustlers are? Hustlers are for the devil. <laughs> young, dumb, full of gum. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> no shame in my game. I I was like, you know what? Those are vintage. I'll take them back. Hey, right. mom, I'm moving out. But don't use a black light in the room. <laughs> Those are vintage. I'll take them back. And I think I gave them to my nephew or my brother-in-law. 
So just kind of passed them on. Because they were from the uh, early, would you rather, the early 2000s. Would you rather loudly orgasm after every time you cough or come every time you sneeze? Uh. You have pretty well, good I mean, to sneeze sometimes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's been a few sneezes where. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> out of control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, there's been a few times where I've ripped ass while I'm sneezing <laughs> at like the same time. So it'd be like a, it would be like oh, a, a crazy, <laughs> crazy thing going on there. You know what I mean? A cum start. <laughs> oh my god yeah i don't know uh, us being uh huskier men if we coughed it probably would be the best (laughs) orgasm ever (laughs) 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 what's that uh i think i said to you red that's uh the penguin from batman when he's just like doing this that's like everything (laughs) When she looks up at me and the light turns on, <laughs> <laughs> me just giving it my all. <laughs> you look like the, the orangutan at the end of the bed. Yeah. <laughs> it's King Louie. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that man fire. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Straight, straight to jail. <laughs> Yo, we, hey, we went to the zoo the other day, like talking about orangutans. Oh, the zoo. We went to the LA Zoo the other day, and I'm with my son, and we went to the orangutan pit in the red ape area. He goes, Dad, that's you. I'm like, You, <laughs> you the, and then we saw the orangutans. I was like, Yeah, but that's you right there. There's your twin. <laughs> oh, that's our kind. I want to get in there. Oh, dude, that's... seven years old, bro. He's, I think you told me about that. The the zookeeper actually came over and tried to put you back in the cage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, what do you? What do you? How'd do you get now? out? <laughs> what do you do now? There's there's no nanas out here. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. It was a it was a good time. You're like good the time. modern modern day Red Harambe. <laughs> dude, cacks out for Harambe, dude. The world's gone downhill since he died. Think yeah. about it. First it was Harambe, then it was Kobe. COVID. If they would have just gave, you know, if they just gave Harambe a butterscotch. Yeah. Oh, dude. If you were just comedy skit some guy did about Harambe, that was fucking hilarious. I wish I remember like how it all went, but he was talking about that. Like the kid falls in the cage and they fucking shoot the gorilla. He's like, imagine if you were just at work and like a fucking tiger just dropped into your fucking building and they just shot everybody in the building instead of shooting the tiger. Question. I can't remember. Question. Where would the tiger drop from? Would he have a parachute? Well, I don't know. It just shows up like the would little he kid be in the gorilla cage. Would he be installed in the roof? Like uh, that's I'm trying to figure out where a tiger would drop from. Combat tiger. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they got cope tiger. Combat where pause. Do get, where do you get his training from? That's what I want to know too. Are six twenty three signed off? Did he have his fucking um um, he's got his, his stripes, so he's good. He does have stripes, but did he get his? He's like, got his tiger stripes. De- deployment checklist signed off, things like that. Like, you know what I mean? So did he wear he's, tiger stripe he's camo? He's clear. Did he go, th- tiger did he go through the unit training manager, get all of his shit signed off? How the his fuck whole folder. Did he get, how good the fuck go. did he get in there? Did he go to the UDM? Black ops. What? That I just want to know. And is there a squadron full of them? There is. That's scary. And is it a tiger or is it like a panther? That's a different squadron. Oh, sorry. There's a tiger squadron and there's a panther squadron. You know, you see a squadron, you never see a fucking zebra squadron. Yeah, how come they never have like little pansy animals as mascots? The 67th, they were cocks, they were chickens. Yeah, but they were the fighting cocks. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, shit, look. And the 44th. 44th was the bats. Here comes vampire here bats. Here comes the fighting cocks. Oh no, here comes the hippo bombardment squadron. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for the horns. Here comes, here comes a, a 330, 339 tactical gazelles. <laughs> <laughs> well, the 43rd was the 
the American Hornets and like on the on the back of our boxes. <laughs> Someone I can't say who it was. They put a dick on there for the stinger, right? No, yeah. no, no, that was something else. But that was something <laughs> else. I mean, it happened, but that was something yeah. else. Instead of like American hornets on it, they took enough letters off to make it say African hornets. <laughs> the fucking chief lost his fucking mind. He wanted people striped for it. Oh he shit! Fucking... <laughs> like you need to go out there and fix all the fucking boxes. Is that how he sounded? Probably. yeah. Did he have butterscotches? Of course. All pro supers have butterscotches. It was chief. a chief. It was a chief. Oh, he, the chef. He definitely got him. Definitely chef. got him. Here comes, here comes the 151st Dingoes. <laughs> Uh-oh. Dingo ate your baby. Uh-oh. Here's the 75th ostriches. Like, yeah. <laughs> Fucking, we put our head in the sand. So new. The Fighting Flamingos. <laughs> fighting <Ooh>. flamingos. <laughs> flamingos. That's the Key West Squadron. That's the Key West Squadron. <laughs> the 69th Fighting Flamingos. <laughs> the 69th <laughs> Flamingos. Oh. That should be a squadron in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, or like they, they never use like sea creatures. I think it's because of the Navy thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you never know. Lobsters yeah, because the Navy have like a dude. Yeah, do they have a like a lobster squadron? <laughs> lobsters the fighting otters. otters. <laughs> here, here here comes the King Salmon F 15s for four fiftieth lobsters. Here comes the VMX <laughs> Krakens. <laughs> yeah, do you get ferocious sea sea animals? Oh no, that's not the Krakens. That's the VMX Belugas. Dude. It's the Belu- Beluga Squadron coming in. The yeah, squadron. but if they put if they put like uh second squadron megalodons you'd be like okay i don't want to fuck with them you know what i'm saying (laughs) okay yeah Yeah, but i'm gonna come across a flamingo a lot easier than i'm gonna come across a megalodon are you coming across one or like you are you both come up on one yeah, if I see one, like, I sneeze. What's your, what's your, I'm coming across flamingo. Pause, pause, pause. Everybody, you know everybody, check your phones. I just sent a picture to the group chat. Just look at it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, that, yes. That's fucking awesome, uh, dude. Motherfucker. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. Tell him if he takes me, he won't blow his tires out. So, be good. Yeah, we need to. Hey, we need to get him on here. We need to get him. On. I was talking to him last night. We should probably let's try and get him on sometime in August. Okay, well, you guys down for that? Yeah, let's do it. Have we? <laughs> oh, that's, that's too good. Awesome. Hey, somebody look up a uh, veteran tell program. Tell him to like, take an extra get- extra couple cans of fix a flat before he goes out. We're getting towards the end, <laughs> dude. I called him Goodyear last night, and he's like, oh. <laughs> and then we started joking <laughs> fuck around. He's like, God. Uh, I don't think he likes being called good here, but I, you know, hey, at least he's gone over 100 days so far, right? Is it over 100? Yeah. Yeah. It's like 120 days. Yeah, or over like that. 100. It'll happen today. 120 days. <laughs> he's so I, he's I currently just, on the side of the road. I just yeah. told him about <laughs> tire right now. I just, oh my God. He's writing. He's riding Rhino as he's waiting for AAA to show up. <laughs> he's, <laughs> yo, he said that shit. Dude. That shit's funny. Hey, God, I got another one. He just said, "Oh, he's got to come on the show." Oh, I told him I share. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the hot tub. No, it's in the hot tub. Rub, dub, dub, fab in the dub. <laughs> yo. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, that was <laughs> fucking great. Can you <laughs> when you do a uh when you do clip oh, on your to do do the reels, yeah. Blackbeard, can you take and put those <laughs> put them in there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hang on, there's more. There's more. Uh, but oh wait, there's more. <laughs> wait, there's more. How long did he spend? Oh, I don't know. Did... I think he spent all morning. He's like, he had a photo shoot with I Fab, right? <laughs> I got nothing to do out here. Here I go. Oh, did you guys get it? It's a Fab photo shoot. Fireside. Fire fire, fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, there's more. There's more. Yes. 
He just oh God. he just provided the greatest entertainment. For oh me. man. <laughs> oh shit. I'm crying again. Oh, oh you're gonna cry in this one. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> 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 Big fast small car in the jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's his funniest <laughs> bug, bro. <laughs> he looks like he's driving. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it does too. That's the best part. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, I love it. That's so good. We should get those pictures on like the the sunshades. Uh, All right, here. Let me see. I'm looking here for something. The veterans. The veterans. <laughs> I said you'll you'll hear the reaction to these on the episode. He made Jay cry again. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> funny, <laughs> good, bro. They're pretty fucking good. Um, <laughs> dub dub fam in the dub. <laughs> You made Fab breathe harder. <laughs> He's like, all right, I actually have to go to work now. Hot dogs. <laughs> so he woke up. And oh, like, hot dogs. <laughs> Dude, I'm, oh. having a hard, I'm having a hard time finding a good one here. Oh, God, that's too good. Fireside Fab. Do you do the canines for Warriors already? Was that you? Uh, it was something like that. I can't remember what it was officially called. Uh, where was it? Messenger. Wednesday's uh, flag day. Oh. If anybody wants to know. Let's see. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one. I will read it off their website. Warriors and Quiet Waters. This might be a good one. We enable post 9-11 combat veterans and their loved ones to thrive. Guiding post 9-11 combat veterans to find purpose. After years of paying service to our country, post 9-11 combat veterans have a new critical mission. Finding their purpose in civilian life. Warriors and Quiet Waters guides veterans and their loved ones to thrive and find peace, meaning, and purpose through fly fishing and other inspirational activities in nature. We bring warriors to our ranch in southwestern Montana, providing a safe, secure environment created by our volunteers, guides, and other veterans that feels like home. Here, warriors find space to make meaning of their service and discover what a pur- purposeful life means to them. Yeah. So essentially you can go do outdoor stuff like and help you be calm. We had a crew chief in Alaska that would uh he was big in the fly fishing and stuff and he'd go to the VA hospital, I think, or center somewhere, and he'd teach a lot of veterans how to tie flies and shit, which is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Fly fishing, once you get the hang of it, it's actually really relaxing. It's fun. Highly recommend. So here's some of the first time programs. Let's see. As a post nine eleven combat service member you made a difference to your comrades to your country and to history and that's just what you've done so far what's next begins with built for more a life changing expedition into nature and self this close-knit small group program launches with an inspiring nature experience spans months of expert driven personal growth online and wraps with a reunion of familiar faces with no participant is the same as before challenging yet doable with all costs covered Built for more guides. Built for more guides you to your next critical mission, finding a deeper connection to yourself, your people, and your purpose. So, yeah, there's initial fishing experience, which is five days. Um, there's a, yeah, okay, so there's initial fishing experience. There's a discovery phase, which spans six to 12 months, depending on fishing condition. Hmm. And there's capstone fishing, which spans five days. So, essentially, you're heading out to the ranch and you're going out to quiet waters, discovering yourself and helping you be a better post 9-11 veteran. That's pretty legit. That's actually really good. It's um you could find it at D quietwaters.org. We'll post the link in the post. And it's Quiet Waters Ranch, is what it's called. You want to go out to Montana and help. Is there certain categories or can we just sign up for it? Um I think you could just, you got to fill out your application, but there's just certain, certain things that you, oh, he's got no pants on. Did you see it? I did. Did you see he's got no pants on? I wonder if it's something that we can um, like uh, sign up for as a group, maybe get like a little Mikey. Yeah. Yeah. Like all of us like go out there. 
That'd be fucking cool. Be legit. Oops. My bad. And then we could actually host an episode out there with like the people that run it, like the founders. Hell yeah. And talk That'd about be awesome. It. Yeah. It'd be awesome to do some episodes with uh with people who run that that type of stuff, you know, like nonprofits and things like that who help veterans out. And, so uh, anybody <laughs> listening that knows or like has talked to people or knows people that do stuff like that, please let us know. Like we'd love to like do something like that. That'd be great. I had a buddy oh. that works at the VA. We could hook us up with something. That'd be legit. Dude, you yeah. got up and had no pants on. Damn right. <laughs> I had to switch the filament. Nice. Oh, okay. You making more chocks? Yep. I have a billion of them. We're uh we're making little tiny yep. keys to the jet chocks. Oh, those are oh sick. that's awesome. We don't know what I'm we're gonna, gonna do with them yet, but uh Oh. Yeah, we're making a bunch of them. Can you make like a like a bigger one for like a like a desk, like a little bit a little bit bigger than what they are now? But it'd be cool if you had like the one chalk with like the one laying on top of it, and you could put like people's name or like their dates of service and all that stuff on there. That'd be kind of cool. I could make them ten inches, I think. Long. I think Hell yeah! Yeah, that's how big my plate is. So yeah, I can make them a lot bigger. Be sweet. Hell yeah. All right, dudes. Hey, it's getting to that point where I yep. want to go get ready for work. <clears throat> you know, I gotta mm-hmm. go fuck work. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. Listen. I won't tell you my name. I won't tell you what they call me. But uh, I gotta go clean up some messes. You know what I'm saying? Only you had a supervisor there to supervise. I'm Mike Squared, dude. You know, so it's all good. I'll be back in August. All good. Mike Squared, <laughs> boy. But no, I got to get ready for work. It's been a great episode. I heart you guys. Uh, if we get some time, let's do, let's, we need to do, okay, I was thinking really quick and we could fucking edit this shit out or whatever. Actually, no, I'll fucking text you guys. Right. Um, but yeah, I got to go. So if you guys want to send us out, that Blackbeard talk about our fucking social media real quick. Oh yeah. So we got the normal buzz sprout. And from there you can listen to us on Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Google, all them good listening podcasts. And then you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Discord. Check us out, uh, Keys is Jet. I'm sorry to interrupt. We're also I'm bringing up a Patreon and oh. we got a uh that the subscription on Buzzsprout where you can subscribe for three dollars and help some brothers out well it'd be cool like <clears throat> if you guys donating we got bigger like uh, a lot of us are prior veterans and you know well, actually all of us are but go to like air force bases like nellis or like you know these places and like meet people in squadrons and like hear different stories and stuff that we can bring back to the podcast that'd be kind of neat not like a, yeah. like a d like a like a dv tour but like you show up as like a like a guest or something, and we talk to people in the squadron that may have listened to the podcast and like get to hear like real stories. Yeah, this Kinda helps neat. us with the subscriptions. It'll help us get the gear that we need mm-hmm. to go out to bring you guys better content. Uh, yep. To where we can go out mobily and talk to people and all that, all this other stuff. So it, it, in neat. turn, it's not going. It's not going in our pockets. It's helping you guys. Yeah, none none of our proceeds are going to go to us. Well, to Jay's uh, uh, 3D printing habit. Well, I got to get more beads for my hair. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a, another steel drum. Another steel <laughs> drum. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, like, listen, good. share. Share us. We need more followers. Yes, yes please. please. Share, follow. And once we get up to 1,000. Like, comment, follow, follow, subscribe, all the things. We get up to 1,000 followers. Subscribers. If we get to 1,000. We'll do a, do a live show and you can actually see Fab's face. Yeah. Yeah. And I won't be Maybe. wearing pants. Maybe. All right. Okay. All right. Send us out. Fab. Love you guys. I got full chocks. Out, so, I only have one hand. <laughs> oh, shit. Dr. Rudder, Chuck. I got a chocks this way. Okay. All right. Later, fuckers. Later, motherfuckers. Yep. Bye bye.